Hey guys, so as you can probably tell by the title, Summer Essentials is going to be everything that you can possibly need for the summer to protect yourself and to cover yourself and all that kind of good stuff. So I want to start off with the face. And I really think that it's really crucial to kind of moisturize your face face in the summer. And if you're not using um, any kind of foundation with an SPF, I think that having just a moisturizer is perfect because I know in the summertime I really don't wear foundation or powder like it's really really rare I like to kind of let my face breathe but the only thing I really do put on is a moisturizer with an SPF to protect my face from the sun whether you put this or maybe a suntan lotion it's totally up to you but I feel that suntan lotions can kind of drive my face out sometimes and moisturizers are just great so this is the one that I like to use the Clinique you surge and SPF 15 and I did a review on this, so I could probably put the link down below, but that's what it looks like inside. It's a really nice, light, creamy consistency. Um, like I said, I'll put the video down below if you guys want to see that about the review on this. The next thing, um, oh, this is still including face, is a foundation. Now, this foundation I have been using for a little while now. It's the Maybelline Fit. I'm in the color 120 and SPF 18. Now, I like to use foundation sometimes in the summertime when I'm going out maybe, but if I'm just laying out by the pool or doing my stuff, I really don't wear foundation. But if you're going to pick a foundation for the summertime, pick one with an SPF as well. Um, oh, now, you can get any kind of waterproof mascara, eyeliner. The one that I've noticed that really doesn't, like, run on me all throughout the summer is the Ulta Cream Automatic um, Eyeliner. And this is in waterproof. And it's a really nice cream eyeliner. Mine is almost done. I have to go pick up another one. But these are really, really cheap. They're like six bucks. And they're waterproof. And um, they stay on my face all throughout the whole entire like time I'm outside tanning and um, when I'm swimming it doesn't really it comes off but it's not like a runny come off it's just like it just comes off kind of thing it doesn't run all over your face when you come out the um, pool what do I want to talk about next I think I want to talk about hair because I have a lot of hair products and in the summertime I like to protect my hair from everything from the chlorine from the heat from everything you can think of and I recently just got a haircut so I got all my ends cut off right before summertime so I can kind of start off fresh for the summer and I normally don't get my hair I'm just gonna let you guys know I don't get my hair cut every two months I get my hair cut like maybe twice a year once a year it depends on if my ends are not split end I'm not gonna get a haircut because I want my hair to grow long so that's that. I want to start off with shampoo though. I've been loving, I I don't know, I've always loved and used the organics. I kind of switch off my shampoos once in a while, but I always see myself going back to the coconut, the one in coconut milk organics. These are absolutely wonderful. I love these. Like, I cannot stress how amazing my hair feels after this. And it's like pure coconut. If you're not a coconut lover, then you're not going to like this because it's the smell of coconut. I love the way coconut smells, and especially on my hair, I can really, like, even after I put my products and stuff, I can still smell the hints of coconut, which with shampoos, if you put other products that are stronger smelling, you can't really smell your shampoo. The next thing I want to talk, oh, okay, I, okay, so in the summertime, you always want to deep condition your hair, because I don't know how much I can stress, if you're in the chlorine all the time, or if you're outside, your hair can get really, 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 like, dry and damaged at the ends, so I like to do a deep conditioner at least once or twice a week, depending on how many times I'm straightening my hair. If I'm straightening my hair out for the whole entire week, then I will use a deep conditioner twice a week. If I tend, I have really curly hair, so I tend to leave my hair curly, I will only use this once a week. So this is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, and it's kind of like bent all out of shape because it's almost done, so I've kind of been like squeezing the heck out of it to get all my product out. But this is what it looks like, and this one is in deep conditioner. Um, there's another one, I think there's like two other kinds that you can get, but you want to get the one that says deep conditioner. Looks like that with that kind of label on it. These are really, really cheap, and um, I can't tell you how great these work on your hair. Like, they leave it so, like, if you just put it on your ends, you will see a difference within, like, three or four times after you use it. You will see a difference. Like, the first time you use it, you, you definitely see a difference, but as... If you are a faithful user to this, you will see a difference with your ends, and you will see that you don't have to get a haircut. Okay, so you always want to protect your hair from heat. 
and if you're using a lot of styling tools in the summertime, make sure you use heat protectant. I can't stress this more than enough because what happens is if your hair is dry, first off, and you don't use the heat protectant, you are frying your hair so that it can fall off. So make sure you use a heat protectant. I use a Chi 44 Iron Guard. So this is the one I really like. It's kind of expensive, but it really it lasts. This is like a year supply in this bottle. I straighten my hair all the time, but in the summertime, this is really crucial. Um. Oh, okay. You always want to leave a leave-in conditioner in your hair in the summertime. I feel like these are a lot of products, but a lot of it's shampoo, deep conditioners, but this is a leave-in conditioner that, I don't know, I have been using this for almost two years now, and I absolutely love this. It's the John Frieda Daily Nourishment, and in some places they don't sell them anymore, in some places they do. They sell these in Walmart, I know, still for like the cheapest price of like five bucks, they're like four ninety seven. Um, but I can't tell you how crucial it is to have a leave-in conditioner in your hair so that your hair is conditioned and is moisturized or it's moist, yeah, moisture and it's shiny and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, I tend to use leave-in conditioners a lot more in the summertime. I know you're supposed to use them all the time, but I tend to use them a lot more, um, like after I come out the pool, I bring this with me and, um, where is it? my wide tooth comb and instead of just brushing your hair out after you come out of the pool with nothing on it I tend to use this and it kind of just detangles it's a detangler in here as well but it kind of de like detangles and nourishes at the same time so I also do recommend that and I also recommend getting a wide tooth comb for when you come out the pool and brushing your hair because you don't want to get split ends and this is one way I've been um really protecting my hair from getting split ends quicker than So anything. you always want to carry an SPF, not an SPF, a scent on, ugh, can't even talk today, a suntan lotion in your purse. And I absolutely love using the Hawaiian Tropic. They smell so good and they're so cute at keeping your purse. You can get these at Ulta for like four bucks. So, they smell so good. Mm, oh my god, I just want to eat it all up. It reminds, like when I smell this, it reminds me of the beach. So you always want to keep um, a suntan lotion as I lose the cap on the floor. I'll show you one more time. You always want to keep a suntan lotion, suntan lotion in your purse just in case, you know, you're out and about and you feel like you're burning, you have your suntan lotion in your purse. You put it on. The next two things I want to show you are perfumes. And I think that in the summertime, fruity scents are a must. Like, every girl out there should wear fruity scents and all this kind of stuff. I'm not, okay, I'm not telling you guys you have to wear fruity scents. But, I don't know, I kind of feel like summertime, it's like fruity summer fruit kind of thing so I like using the Juicy Couture this is this metal and this is like really really known on YouTube like everyone has this on YouTube but I just love the scent I can't I really don't explain scent well I'm a bad explainer with scent and I really love the DKNY Be Delicious Be Delicious and Fresh Blossom it kind of smells I have one today it kind of smells a little fruity and a little florally at the same time, but it's not like a really, really strong scent. I think that if you are one not to like strong scents, this one's a really good one because you can't, like, if people pass you, you can't really smell it. But if someone gets really close to you, you can smell it kind of thing. So this is a really good perfume for that. Um, and the last thing I want to show you is a summer must-have. Every girl must have this in her wardrobe. And it is a cute cover-up. For when you're coming out of the pool or coming out of the beach or walking on the boardwalk with your bathing suit, a cucumber ups and must. And this one is from Kohl's. It was $16.99. And it's by Apartment 9. I saw the tag on it. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so when you wear this, like, underneath your bathing suit, like, look how cute that is. It has this, like, just long scrunch in the middle. And it's just a really cute cover up, and you can get the you can get these in any color, but I kind of chose black because black matches with everything. So, so this is really really crucial to have in your wardrobe in your summer wardrobe because every girl needs to cover up when they're coming out of wherever they're coming out of like pool beach whatever. So I really do recommend getting one of these, and that's basically it. So um, if you guys have any questions of any of the products that I showed you today, go ahead and comment me down below, and I want to see a video response from you guys of what you guys 
use in the summertime and like what you think are summer essentials because I always like watching this kind of videos so I can kind of get an, like a better idea so I can kind of buy more products kind of things so that's basically it and oh how do you like how do you guys like my new background I don't know I'm filming on my sister like I have my setup on my sister's bed and I'm sitting on like a little stool so I'm facing the opposite way when I first started doing YouTube videos I used to face the what I'm looking at straight ahead right now was my background so I don't know it's kind of different it's really nice out so I thought I would use the natural sunlight by my sister's bed to kind of just you know kind of get all that good sunlight and good lighting for my video today so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later